let's try to understand how exactly shaping is going to work. So I will take another 10 minutes of yours. And believe me, it is very, very simple. It is very, very easy. It is just a third or maybe fifth or sixth grade mathematics. That is it. Nothing is there. Right. So see what is happening right now. Right now, and I am taking example by considering speed, very low speeds, right? And if you want to go with a very high speed, like one gigabits, 10 gigabits, one terabit, you can just add zeros into it, right? But why to make our example so complicated with, by choosing so many or, or by choosing large numbers? So I am using pretty small numbers here, right? So what is happening here? My topology is simple. I have router number one right here. I have router number two right here. And there is a link between them, which is working here at the speed eight kilobits per second. If I talk about eight kilobits per second, what is the meaning? Eight kilobits per second. The meaning is just simple. It can send 8,000 bits per second. There is no doubt about it. Means this interface will be putting lot of bits, ones and zeros, whatever. But how many lots of bits, right? 8,000. It is as simple as that. This calculation is right. So what I'm doing here is I want, I am just curious to know that, see, we understand one second, right? Because this is what we perceive means hour, then minute, then second. But if I talk about something in millisecond, this is not with what human thing, right? Millisecond is just one by thousand of a second, which we cannot process, right? That is why I'm giving you example in which, in which uh, I'm giving you example, which what we understand, right? So in one second, this interface can send 8,000 bits and this is the speed of this internet, right? And I'm saying the bandwidth is also the same, means we can send 8,000 bits per second, as simple as that. But one second means if I, if I divide one second into four different pieces, you will be saying one by fourth of a second, one by fourth of a second, one by fourth of a second, and one by fourth of a second. And you know, if I add them all, it is going to give me one second because I have at the first place divided my one second into four pieces. If I do that, then one second can be divided into four different pieces by saying that I have 0 0.25 second. One by four second means 0 0.25 seconds, right? As simple as that. So if I divide my one second into four tiny pieces of time, then one time is going to give me 0 0.25 seconds, 0 0.25 seconds, 0 0.25 and 0 0.25. If I combine them together, I am talking about one second. I think we should not have any doubt with respect to it. Believe me, guys, I am taking the simple example by simple mathematics, right? People have hard time to understand it. And I'm telling you, it is very easy. I have just divided one second into four parts. If I divide one second into four parts, one part is 0 0.25 second. There is nothing difficult in this, right? I know that in one second, I can send 8,000 bits. Can anybody tell in 0 0.25 second, how many bits I can send? Definitely, I need to multiply it with 0 0.25 means 8,000 into 0 0.25 means 1 by 4. It means that 2,000. If in one second I was sending 8,000, in quarter of a second, I will be sending only 2,000. There is no doubt about it. And that is what I'm saying that in 0.25 second, I am sending 2,000 bits. Again, in 0 0.25 second, I am sending 2,000 bits. Again, in 0 0.25, I am sending 2,000 bit and so on. And that is how I am getting the speed of 2,000 plus 2,000 plus 2,000 plus 2,000 means 8,000 bits per second. Believe me, you must be thinking, Mr. Vishnu, what are you doing? This is very, very basic mathematics. Yes, this is. But people do not get it. <laughs> right? And suppose I have a packet which is of 125 byte length. And again, you can argue with me, Mr. Vishnu. A packet length is 1500. See, I am doing the simple calculation for you. 125 byte packet means 1000 bits. Why? Because in one byte, there are eight bits, 125 into eight, it is going to give you 1000. It means that if in quarter of a second or in 0 0.25 second, I, if I can send 2000 bits, it means that I can send 
two different packets of 125 bytes. There is no doubt about it because 125 bytes means 1000 bits and I can send 2000 bits. It means I can send two different packets of 125 bytes. Similarly, I'm sending two packets here. I'm sending two packets here. I'm sending two packets here. It means that over the period of one second, I am sending 8000 bits or four packets as simple as that, right? Now let's generate some formulas on basis of it, right? I have divided seconds into multiple pieces and suppose per piece I am this 0.25 second I am calling it as a name I am giving it as a name as TC so this is one TC this is one TC this is one TC this is one TC this is just the name right whatever you used to have 0.25 second I am just giving it a name right and whatever the number of bits you are sending in this TC it is going to be your 2000 bits and I am just calling it and I am just giving it a name as BC number of bits the committed bits you are sending right and believe me if you divide this BC with this TC you will be getting the rate exactly the same rate whatever you are seeing here and if you do not if you don't get it let's calculate it what are the number of BCs you have 2000 bits you are sending right 2000 bits you are sending in how many seconds in 0 0.25 second right this is bits this is second very very simple mathematics guys right and 2000 divided by 0 0.25 you can calculate using calculator i am using a different approach 0 0.25 can be written as 1 by 4 and i can do 2000 into 4 by 1 because if this goes up and it is going to give me 8000 bits per second and of course my rate was 8000 but per second or 8 kilobits per second right so if we know the rate if you want to know the rate from bc and tc value we can just calculate it easily so just remember this formula what i have done i have done, i have divided one second into four pieces you can divide into eight ten whatever you would like right but i want to showcase you can you calculate in this small little time how many bits you can send definitely you can calculate there is no doubt about it right but this is wow how a particular interface works in normal case now i would like to do something with this interface if you get this right believe me the next boards are going to be very very easy so let's move to the next board where i am so enjoying learning if you have reached till this point of the video i think you are enjoying learning and i just do not want to waste your time i would like to say that if you want to see this complete course this course is available on my website which is www.pitchby.com please have a look at it and along with this course there are so many other courses available if you want to start your networking journey from the beginning from the scratch or if you are a seasoned networking engineer please have a look at this website so you can see here is my website the link of this website is also available on the description area just below this video thank you so much and enjoy learning introducing the concept of shaping here previously i was very happy i was sending i was able to send right 8 kbps from this interface but now on r2 i am placing a police guy here which is saying with this stick do not send more than 4 kbps previously i was so happy sending 8 kilobits per second and now this police guy is saying you can't send more than 4 kbps it means that my speed was 8 kbps now i have to stop for some period of time and then i need to send for some period of time but although this mathematics is important we were sending 8 kilobits per second now we need to send 4 kilobits per second it means that half of the time i will not send and half of the time i will send because the clock rate or the interface speed is going to be same right and that is what i'm doing see what i'm doing we have this 0 0.25 seconds again again i have divided this one second into four different pieces this one and this one previously in one such interval i was sending how many bits 2000 bits but now i have divided this interval into two pieces right and i know in one of the interval i can send 
If I send, I will be sending 1000 bit. And in the remaining of the interval, I will not send means the interval which I have decided where I was sending 2000 bits. Now I am sending 1000 bits. It means that for 0 0.25 seconds, right? Half of the time I will be sending, which I am showcasing you with the green mark, and half of the time I am not sending, which I am showcasing with the red mark. Why? Because interface speed is going to be same, right? But I need to change it from 8 kbps. I need to send only 4 kbps, and that is why half of the time I will be sending, half of the time I will be idle, right? I am not sending. Similarly, in the next 25 seconds, I will be sending for half of the time and not sending half of the time. Similarly, for the next 25.25 seconds, I will be sending, not sending, sending, not sending. It means that how many bits I was able to send? 4,000, right? In what time period? Of course, time period is 0 0.25 second plus 0 0.25 second plus 0 0.25 second plus 0 0.25 second. It means that it is one second. Now, I am sending 4,000 bits per second or 4 kilobits per second, right? It means that what is happening behind the scene, guys, when you do shaping, right? Your interface is sending for some time and it is not sending for some time. As simple as that, right? Now, the question, right? Or it means that if I'm sending only 1,000 bits, previously I was able to send two messages of 125 kilobytes. Uh, uh, sorry, 125 bytes. Sorry. Now I can send only one message of 125 bytes because I can send only 1,000 bits and in, uh, in 0 0.25 second, right? Interesting. If you have any doubt in this board, please think, right? Please ask, because shaping is this much simple. I have a large amount of traffic, right? I cannot send a large amount of traffic. I cannot send 8 kbps. I can say, wait, right? I can chop it and send the smooth traffic. My traffic is getting smoother, right? But here is the point that Mr. Vishnu, if you are getting continuous 8 kilobytes of traffic from previous, uh, from, from your queues, what is what is going to happen then it is going to be problem because at the end of the day you can send only 4 kbps but this is the property of bus traffic what is the meaning of bus traffic the meaning of bus traffic is sometime it is very high sometime it is low for example if you go and try to access a web page when the web page is loading the traffic will be more right but then you see that web page and during that period of maybe 5 second 10 second 15 second maybe 1 minute you are not getting anything so the busty traffic will be means sometime it is high then for most of the time it is low, then again high, and then again low, right? So overall, if the traffic is busty, sometimes it is more, sometimes it is more, uh, less. We will be sending the, uh, we will be sending it's a constant rate. So whatever the traffic we are not sending, we will be saving it, right? We will be storing it in a queue, and then send it at a later point of time. Because if you see the traffic is, it is going like this, 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 this is the busty traffic, right? What we are going to do, we will be sending it this common rate, this shaping rate, and whatever is remaining, we will be share, uh, we will be holding it and we'll send it later. This is exactly how shaping works, guys. And now, if I introduce the terms here, right? If I introduce the normal terms, which I just explained you, right? It will be very, very simple. So what is happening here is, uh, let me make it a little bit bigger. Let me move it. By the way, if you are not able to read whatever I write in this thread, uh, this is not for you. This is for me. What I would like to explain in the board. So if you are not able to read this, that is perfectly fine. It means this information is not for you. Okay. So now let's introduce some terms. As I mentioned, this TC, this is known as time interval. Right, which is 0 0.25 seconds. The BC is how much, how exactly, how many bits you are sending, or this is your committed bust. Bust means if you are having this much of traffic, you can send only this much, right? 1000 bits. Rate you want to achieve is 4 kilobits uh, per second. Then the formula is rate is equal to BC over TC. That is it. It means that suppose you have this rate, right? And you need to uh, calculate what is going to happen if you want to send 
if you want to shape it with 2 kbps because maybe the police is now saying that it is not going to entertain more than 2 kbps of traffic what is going to happen then you just need to tell mr router mr router you need to shape at a speed of 2 kilobits per second and then this router is going to ask mr vishnu that is fine then what is going to be this tc because if you have three things in a formula rate is equal to bc upon tc right you should have at least two to know the other one right the remaining one so i know what rate i want finally but i do not know right and that is why the operating system has some default value it is going to say that the default value for this tc is going to be 125 millisecond means if you have one second what we did we have divided into four pieces one by four one by four one by four and operating system says that one second can be divided into 1000 millisecond and i am defining this tc value as 125 millisecond so this value in cisco ios is 125 millisecond why i have chosen 0 0.25 millis uh, sorry 0 0.25 second is just to explain you think right and of course if i have tc here and if i have that rate here i can definitely calculate how many bits i'm going to send in that period and that is what whole soul agenda right because if i know 0 0.25 second is my time period and my rate is going to be eight kilobits per second i can definitely or oh, sorry four kilobits per second i can definitely calculate that i need to send only 1000 bits similarly if i know that my time period is going to be in milliseconds right which is 125 millisecond and if i know how much rate i want to have maybe 500 million bits per second or whatever right i need to calculate it the bc how many bits i can send in that tc and that can be calculated easily that bc by tc is equal to rate as simple as that guys although i have one more topic to cover right but i just want to ask are you guys in that situation to understand one more topic or you want some time to process this information first and then understand 